Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we will show you how to call record on any Android phone. But before starting, please make sure that it is legal to record calls in your country. If that's well and good, then let's get started. So first and foremost, you will have to root your phone via Magisk. If you haven't done so yet, then I'll show you in the links how you could root your phone. Moving on, once the phone is rooted, your next course of action is to go to Play Store and then install the official phone by Google app. Now let me show you as of now, if I go to the settings menu, there is no call recording option. So using a workaround, I will now add a call recording option in the official phone by Google app. So let's get started. Now that your phone is rooted, go to the GitHub page of Google Dialer Mod. The link is given in the description. Please check it out and then go to its download section. Once you reach there, go to the assets and download the APK file. Once the file is downloaded, simply install this APK as you install any normal APK file. It will only take around 3-4 seconds. Once done, launch the app and it will now bring up a magic prompt. In that magic prompt, tap on grant forever. So tap on grant and it has now got the magic request. Now you will have to enable the toggle next to force enable disable call recording as well as silence call recording alerts. The third one of call screen is optional. But make sure you enable the toggle next to the first two options. Once that is done, you will now have to delete the data of the official call by Google phone by Google app. So go to its app info page. Do note that this is the official phone by Google app and not the modded app. So go to its app info page, then go to storage usage and tap on clear data. After that, go back, tap on force stop and hit OK. Now note that you will have to carry out this process around 3-4 times and only then the call recording will be enabled. So let's carry out this process 3-4 more times and uh, every time once you force stop the app, make sure to open it once. Now it's open, again go back delete the data of this app and again force stop this app then tap on open and once more go back go to storage usage delete its data then force stop the app as well and now let's see the result so open the google phone app tap on the overflow icon and select settings as you could see the option is still not been enabled so in that case you will i request you to wait for a few seconds and then retry deleting the app data as well as the force stopping the app so let's wait for a few seconds and now let's again carry out this task. So go to the storage usage section, tap on clear data, tap on OK, then tap on force stop, again tap force stop. Now launch the app and let's see this time around. So you could see the option is still not been enabled right now. So let's again wait for a few seconds and carry out this task around 3-4 more times. It's just a hidden trial method. There is no specific number as to how many times you have to do this. But in my testing, it takes around 4-5 tries before I could carry out this task. So let me carry out a couple of more times. So force stop this app around 3-4 times more. And you will only have to do this once. Once you get the call recording feature, you will not have to force stop this app any more time. So let's do it one more time. And now let's check out the result. So as you could see, the call recording has not been enabled. So go to that their screen and then you could customize it as per the requirement. For example, you could enable the toggle to always record the calls for those numbers that are not in your contact list and type on always record. Apart from that, you could always choose to when you want to remove the recording from your phone. For example, you could choose 30 days. So after one month, all these recordings will be automatically removed from your phone. Apart from that, you could also select a specific number from which you want to always record a call. So you could customize it as per your requirement and with this guys, the process stands complete. As told before, there is no specific number of times. You will just have to delete the data and force stop the app until you achieve success. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.